star here. Um, hopefully I don't look too much like a drowned rat because it's pouring with rain here and I've just come in from the rain. <laughs> so I thought I would do my month in review. And I got the idea for a month in review from Kyra from My Journey in Beauty. And I will link her down below so that you can check out what she does for her month in review. And I quite like the way she set it out. So she does... It, oh, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my empties, my new purchases, favourites and tip for the month that I've earned for this month. So, and you also might notice that my background is different because my um, daughter is home from university so I had to move out of there and I am in Paul's old office but he's not using it anymore so I have started to do my painting in here which is what you see behind me. <laughs> so I've just put my makeup in here for now while my daughter's home. So it's a very small room and now it's even smaller. <laughs> so for empties, I haven't got that many, although I've got a few declutters as well as empties this time. So I've only managed to use two face masks <laughs> this month and I've used both of them before. This is the um, Skin Republic ones, which I quite like, and I buy them when they're on special. So this one was a buy two, get one free. So that's why this one says it was a free gift. <laughs> the vitamin C one and the lift mask, and I enjoy both of those, and I would buy them again. But um, yeah, I wasn't very good at doing face masks this month. <laughs> and I went through a finished some wipes up. This is the Glow Lab ones. This is the ones that um, I had already repurchased. So that was one of my repurchases for the month. And these ones are really nice. They don't sting around my eyes like some of them do. And um, I also use this one which I discovered in my drawer. I didn't use these ones all by myself. I, my daughter used quite a few of them. So these ones were the ones I was buying before, which were quite good, but they did sting a little bit. But I actually find the Glow Lab ones were better for me. So, And I also used up two body washes. And again, I didn't use these up all by myself because they're just in the shower and whoever wants to use them uses them. So this is the mango one from the body shop, which is my daughter's favourite scent. So no doubt next time we go to the body shop we'll probably buy some more. And this was the pomegranate one from Ulida, so this is another all natural product. And um, we use these ones quite a lot because my husband w was working for Ulida and we'd get free products, but um, he's not working for them anymore. So once I've been through them all, I don't know whether I'll repurchase or not because they are reasonably expensive. And skincare stuff I've used up, I used up a proactive cleanse which I do repurchase because um, it's part of my staple skincare. I used up the Shiseido Luminizing Surge and this was part of what I wanted to get for um, brightening my skin. I think it worked reasonably well but I didn't get to use it all because um, my daughter decided it made a really nice moisturiser and by the time I realised what she was doing she had used up quite a lot of it so I didn't get to use that much. It's a really expensive product to just be using as a moisturiser <laughs> and I know how she puts moisturiser on so it disappeared quite fast. I don't know if I'd buy it again. It felt nice. So I think it was working but I wasn't 100% sure because when I started using this winter was coming so I was getting paler anyway <laughs> so I'm not really sure whether this worked or not it was one that was recommended to me um, I think I don't know that I would bother again and one of the free gifts I got when I brought that product was the Shiseido clarifying cleansing foam I wouldn't buy this one again because yes it did do a really good job washing your face but my face was squeaky clean when it finished so I felt like it was just stripping my face too much. It didn't feel overly 
dry afterwards. It was just really squeaky clean and I, I don't know, it just didn't feel right to have squeaky clean <laughs> face. <laughs> so if you like a squeaky clean face, then this one will do that for you. So that one was all used up and I used up three lip balms. Now I didn't use these all up in one month. It was just that they all finished at the same time. So it was a Lita lip balm, which I really like. And my Blistex SPF 50 Plus, which I buy all the time because I like a sunscreen in my day-to-day -day lip balm. These ones, like in the Burt's Bees one, I finished up as well. So these two I use at night time. And this one I use during the day when I need something on my lips. And I've just realised I've got no lipstick left on. Let me remedy that. <laughs> yeah, now I've got some lipstick on. <laughs> and there are some things here that I had in my project pan, so you would have already seen them. So I'll just quickly run through. I won't talk about them, really. But there was the Revolution Pro Flix Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. This one was okay. Wasn't anything groundbreaking, but it was alright. And the Dewy and Smooth Maybelline Fit Me. And what shade was this one? In Natural Beige. I finished that up. And that was in my project pan as well. And my Japanese Cherry Blossom Strawberry Kiss Perfume. I finished that up. So that's all gone as well. And then some makeup empties that weren't in a project pan was my Maybelline Master Camo Green thing. <laughs> what do you call it? Color corrector. So I can't get any more out of there. It clicks round and round, but nothing. There's no more product in there. Um, when I was looking for a color corrector, I was having trouble finding one that once you blended it out, it, you could still see a little bit of green, or that it was taking off, um, it was camouflaging red because most of them just seemed to blend away to nothing at all. This one was quite good. It wasn't too drying but you did have to be careful because it was a little bit dry looking. Would I repurchase? If I can't find something else that I like better then I would probably repurchase this one. But I'd like to find a cruelty free one if I can that I don't have to buy online, I can just buy in store. That's, that's the difficult part, is buying them in store around where I live. And then we get to, wait, there was something else that I finished. Oh, here. <laughs> so the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder is all finished. This was not in a project pan, but there's nothing left, it's empty. See, there's, there's no powder left and I, I didn't take the stopper out because there is nothing in there. <laughs> um, this was the second one that I used but I wouldn't buy this again because I have now discovered um, the River Ocean Lace powder and the Australis Banana powder that both work under my eyes. Okay so I don't need a separate under eye one, I can just use those ones all over my face. So. I'm not going to repurchase this, but this was okay. It wasn't groundbreaking, but it was, it was it worked. It didn't make my under eyes look too dry like some of them do. And then we get to declutters. Now, when I made a purchase, well, Focal Law things, um, I they were giving away a free babe box, which I didn't really want. But they gave it to me anyway, and and then they tried to charge me for next month as well, which is now this month. <laughs> and I'm like, but I didn't even want this box, so I've I've written to them and said, look, I don't want this box, don't give it to me. <laughs> so hopefully that will be sorted out. But the three things I'm decluttering are three things that were in there because um, I don't actually want them, which is why I didn't want them in the first place. So <laughs> one of them is a is a liquid lipstick. And it's just, uh, I haven't put it on, but I have swatched it. And it's it's just, do you can see that swatch? It's very uneven looking. 
it just it looks weird it doesn't look smooth at all wasn't very impressed so I'll let my daughters try it out and if they want it they can have it but I don't want it <laughs> and there was a little eyeshadow I don't need any more slightly satin cream eyeshadows so I'm going to declutter that as well and there was a highlighter palette which is for tan to dark so most of it is too dark for me so those are the colors in there really the only one that's not too dark is this one here and I may be able to get away with this one in the summer but they're not they're not hugely glowy they're quite powdery I wasn't impressed and I've got better ones in my collection I don't need to keep this one so I'll see if any of um, my girls friends who have a darker complexion can use it or want it so I will declutter those three things because I don't need them <laughs> and that is all my empties for this month of August which I didn't say that before so this is my August empties <laughs> August month in review so put new purchases now I did buy some things that I've already talked about so I did buy the Classy Cake Cosmetics which I've already spoken about so I won't go over those some of those are missing because I have them in a different palette I did buy some magnetic palettes that are just empty for depotting because I depotted some stuff. <laughs> I brought some new wipes and I brought a new night cream. This is the Sunken Purely Ageless Restorative Night Cream with vitamin rich cocoa butter. Um, yeah, so this is this is just the box because the actual thing is in my bathroom because I'm using it. I haven't decided if I like this yet. I don't know whether it's just stress or hormones or whether this is doing it, but something is breaking me up, but it could be stress and hormones. So I'm on the fence about this. I will continue to use it and continue to evaluate whether it's causing me breakouts or not <laughs> and I got some new sunscreen and this is a repurchase I've brought this before I really like it so I will continue to buy that and I brought an eyebrow pencil the LA girl shady slim eyebrow pencil which I'm trying to throw away now <laughs> And which colour did I get this time? In brunette. And I really like this pencil. I've brought it several times. Um, the eyebrow pencils don't last that long, though. They they get used up fast. I don't just use that now. I, I am using my Milani eyebrow. What do they call this? Stay Pop brow colour. You can see I use that because there's a big chunk of band in the bottom of that. That's not in a project either. I just use it every day. I have three I have three products that I use. I use at the moment I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, which isn't empty yet. I don't always use this one. I use this and I use the pencil most of the time. And then if once I've done my makeup, because I do my brows first, or once I've finished my makeup, if my brows are looking a bit dull because I've ended up getting some makeup in it or something. And I'll just quickly go over with that because my brows pretty much stay where I put them. They don't, they don't go wild all over the place or anything, so they don't need a lot of setting or anything. So I just fill them in a bit, and that is. And I got, um, I got a ColourPop order, which I've already shown. So um, anything that I've already sh purchased, I'm not going to show again. But it was just those three things that I haven't already shown in a haul. That I brought this month, so my my things I purchased this month is empty now. So did you want something? No, I just didn't realize this was here. 
I was just filming. Sorry, just slight interruption. And, and now I don't know where I've put stuff on. So, my tip for the month this month has been, I had bought some ink cloth from Duraline, and I can't remember if I've spoken about this before. I know I've had it in videos where I've made stuff out of it. But it, um, I've been using it to make a lipstick with eyeshadows that are safe to use on your lips. And um, it works really well. It is, it's like a, it dries down to like a matte liquid lip, but it's, as long as you don't mix it too thick, I'm going to cough. So as long as you get the consistency right, it doesn't flake off or anything. It just goes on nice and smooth. And it's like, I'm not wearing it now. I'm actually wearing a matte liquid lipstick. And this is basically what the finish would be. And this one is the, the Rimmel Stay Matte. So if you don't mind the feel of the Rimmel Stay Matte, then this would work for you as well. It is a little bit drying. But then I usually put my lip gloss over the top. It's not completely transfer proof, but it is, um, it's not like a normal lipstick where it just comes off when you touch it. It, it. it is a little bit transfer proof. And I was, before I got this, I was using like a gloss and putting gloss on and then putting the eyeshadow on and it was always really messy and it came off on everything this doesn't do that this doesn't come off on everything and also using this as an eyeliner i think last time i spoke about it i spoke about using it as an eyeliner and mixing it with my eyeshadow so i can have an eyeliner any color i want which is also good but also i can make lipstick out of it so if i haven't got the right color lipstick because i don't have a lot of far out colored lipsticks i have one purple lipstick <laughs> and that's all and I don't have any strange colours apart from that purple one, which isn't that strange. <laughs> and so if I want something different, I don't really want to buy, say, a blue or a green lipstick. Because I, I wouldn't use them that often. But if I want it for a particular look, if I can just mix it with this. And whatever colour I'm using on my eyes, I can make it coordinate. So... That is my tip of the week. If you have access to Inkpot Duraline, you can make it work for making any colour lipstick that you like, if you don't mind a matte lipstick or you don't mind putting a gloss over the top of it. And my favourites. My favourite for this month has been, I shopped my stash. And on Shop My Stash this time, I did it a little bit differently. I did, yeah. I say that every time, every time I shop my stash, I do it differently. But I used singles, my depotted stuff. Most of my singles are depotted stuff. And I made my own gold teal palette. Because I was, I duped the Natasha Denona gold palette. And then I used that for some looks. And then I decided what was missing out of that for me, for the kind of looks I'd want to do. And then I made my own palette because for me it was missing some of the lighter teals and some of the like really dark browns. So that's what I did. And I've really been enjoying that. I'm wearing that at the moment. And I've done several looks with that little palette now. And using that palette in conjunction with this this mermaid hearts one as well because I couldn't depot this one that I can tell pretty sure I can't depot this one <laughs> so I've been using those together and concentrating on the teal and the blue in my pen that color so I've been doing the teal and the blue in here Which is why I made the palette teal and gold, apart from the fact that I was being fascinated by the Natasha Tenona gold palette for so long I thought I should try and dupe it and see if I really liked it or not. And I can link that um, video for you if you would like to watch it. I'm 
in a different room so now I don't know which side to point at <laughs> for the cards but um, I, I've really been enjoying that and I've been getting different ideas in my head for other ones that I would like, other palettes I'd like to try and dupe and then tweak to suit the way I like to do my makeup. And I think that's going to be a really valuable exercise for me in making me not want to buy all the palettes. Like, especially like things like um, the avocado palette that came out from Revolution and people were saying, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. And then I started to get a few other people saying, oh, the colour story's great and that, and it looks good when you put it on, and then it doesn't last on your eyes. Actually, Kira from Journey and Beauty was saying, after about three hours, it just fades away to nothing on her. I'm thinking, well, <laughs> I don't usually have that problem, and she says she doesn't usually have that problem either. So I don't want to go and buy that, because... For me to get free shipping, I have to spend a certain amount of money. And I don't want to be doing a big order at the moment. So I am um, sort of thinking, well, what other greens have I got in my collection that I can make my own? <laughs> so I, I might be looking through my collection saying, what am I not reaching for that I could depot so I could reach it for it more. I'm not going to depot all my stuff. I'm not interested in doing that. I'm interested in depotting stuff that I'm not reaching for because the palette's not complete for me. So if I had it in separates and then I was mixing and matching, I could make a complete palette for me. Is that making sense? <laughs> but I, I've just been having fun with colour stories anyway, so that's what I've been doing. And I actually did some painting. I haven't finished this by any stretch of the imagination. But because I've been playing with gold and teal, I've been doing a gold and teal painting, and this is just the background. And you might be able to see some white chalk, because that's what I'm going to be painting on it next. <laughs> so it's been really nice to... To do some painting and the golden teal colour scheme kind of inspired me to to do a golden teal kind of colour scheme for my painting as well so that was quite cool and that is my month in review so hopefully there was something interesting in there for you i'm not sure how interesting month in reviews are for you i think it's interesting for me to see what i've used up and what i want to rebuy and at the end of the year I've been, I've been marking down what it is that I've used and I'm really curious at the end of the year to sort of kind of do an inventory of what I've used and find out how many face masks do I use in a year, how many lip balms do I use in a year, just to get an idea, how, how many cleansers do I use in a year, how many, yeah, it's just, just to get an idea for me and especially with the makeup, like how many setting sprays do I use in a year. How many foundations am I likely to use in a year? And I just think it'll be quite interesting. So that's why I'm doing the month in review, so I can track all that. And just interesting to see how my thinking process changes, because at the beginning of the year, I was all about new palettes. And now I'm just starting to change my thinking and that I want to make my own colour stories rather than just buy new palettes and then see what am I what colours am I missing. So if I brought this palette or do I just need this colour. So that, that that's that's where my head's going at the moment. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.